Hello everyone, my name is Michael and today I'm going to teach you how to solve a sample LSAT problem. So let's read the passage. The passage reads, a century in certain ways is like a light. And as the end of a century approaches, people behave toward that century much as someone who is nearing the end of life does towards that life. So just as people in their last years spend much time looking back on the events of their life, people at a century's end, and then the question asks us which one of the following most logically completes the argument. So before we look at the answer choices, of which there are five, let's look at that argument again. Let's deconstruct it. Let's look at the question, understand what it's asking of us, and then come up with a good paraphrase, a good potential answer that could solve the problem. So if we look at the passage, it's basically comparing it two different time periods, the way people behave at the end of a century and the way people behave at the end of their life. And they're saying people behave at the way at the end of their century towards that century the same way they do at their life at the end of the life. And the question is kind of leading us towards a certain conclusion and it's saying because people at the end of their life tend to reminisce about their life, how do people behave at the end of a century towards that century? And so the correct answer choice is going to complete, it's going to fill in that blank in a way that's consistent with the information we know from the passage and also in a way that confirms and sort of, I guess, finishes the passage, ties it up in a way that's commonsensical. So the correct answer is going to compare the way we know people behave towards their life at the end of the life with the way people we can infer from that information, the way people behave toward a century at the end of a century. And since we know that people tend to look past uh, upon their life's events at the end of their life, we can infer from that that people are going to look past at the events of the century at the end of the century. And so this is what we can predict the answer is going to be. And with that in mind, let's look at the different answer choices. So answer choice A says, reminisce about their own lives. So that's the, the blank, right, that the answer choice is giving us here. And this is, this is a conflation of the way that people behave at the end of a century and, and the way they behave at the end of their life, right? The answer choice says reminisce about their own lives, but really what we're looking for is something that says reminisce about the end of the century or the century that they've lived through. This is how people behave at the end of their own lives, but not at the end of the century. So answer choice A doesn't work here. Answer choice B says fear that their own lives are about to end. Now, that's a complete non sequitur. We don't get anything in the passage about people being scared or fearful about their life about to end. This, this doesn't follow from what we understand. So this answer choice doesn't work either. Now, answer choice C says, focus on what the next century will bring. And once again, this is a non sequitur, but of a different variety um, because the passage doesn't talk about people looking forward to the next century or to the next life. That doesn't follow. Once again, we're looking for something that says looking back at the events of the century. So C doesn't work. Now, answer choice D says become very interested in the history of the century just ending. And I mean, that's basically what we're looking for. That's a pretty good paraphrase of the answer choice. It doesn't say exactly the way we said before we looked at the answer choices, but that's pretty good. So we're going to mark that one as potentially correct and come back to it because there's one more answer choice. And we've got to look at that one before we select this one as correct. So answer choice E says, reflect on how certain unfortunate events of the century could have been avoided. This one is interesting because it does talk about the previous events in the century in the way we know the correct answer choice would have to, but it's not quite right because it includes too much information that's simply not found in the passage, nor can be inferred from the passage. It talks about how we have unfortunate events that could have been avoided, and that's simply not the comparison that we're making to how we behave at the end of our lives toward our life. So answer choice D ends up being the correct answer. That is how you solve sample LSAT problem.